Hello, welcome. My name is Andy and today I will be showing you how to take any old dresser such as this one and turn it into a masterpiece of a dresser such as this one. Now, if you want to switch out the top of your dresser, which I did, I wanted it to be a wooden top, you're going to have to take apart your dresser. So I took all the drawers out and here I am attempting to take the top off. As you can see, not exactly going to plant. Here's my dad coming to the rescue. If you don't have a dad to ask, don't worry. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. I chose to be lazy on this one and go the dad path. Here I am asking my dad to take the top off of the dresser. Do you have something I can pry this top off with? Huh? And just like that, magically the top is removed. Go dads! I wanted my dresser to be black, so here I am painting it black. You could paint yours any color you want. Here I am painting the drawers. Don't forget to do that. And on to the part of the video where I tell you how I got the burlap to look like cane on the drawers. I was trying to mix the stain that I'm using on the countertop with white paint to get the color of the burlap that I wanted and it wish really wasn't working. And so I went and got this color from Home Depot. It is called Toasted Cashew but it's like a little too orange and a little too dark for what I wanted. So I just added a little white to it and we're getting the color we wanted. So all I've done is I've cut a strip of burlap, put it on the cardboard, get to painting. Look how I love white wine. Wait, should I have something here? Here I am using spray adhesive to glue the burlap onto the front of the drawers. I also cut some wooden laths at 45 degree angles to make a rectangle that could be the trim around the drawer front. I'm just doing the trim. I wanna wake up where you are. Okay, my camera died. Sorry if this is bad quality. Um, I think it's probably fine. It's an iPhone 8, so I think that's fancy enough. Haters. Anyway, I'm now at the phase where I'm gluing and nailing the um, boards on. I'm hoping that three quarter inch nails are going to be not, lo not too long, that they go through but I think it should be fine. I just trimmed the edges of the of the burlap so that there's none sticking out and I'm just going to put on um, the ASMR and zen out and get to work. And this is also going to make sure, I mean, I already sprayed that burlap, but this is also just going to make sure that since I'm putting it on the edges of the burlap, it's gonna make sure that the burlap does not unravel at the ends. I don't know if you know what burlap is, but I sure do. I sure didn't until this video. Um, it's basically like a bunch of strings like weaved together, woven together. And so, God, I sound stupid. And so if you don't seal it, it could easily just, it's like, unravel. I'm gonna line these up on top so that I can make sure that they're all gonna fit. Okay, looking pretty good. Okay, let's go. I'm nervous. Nice. Uh, two nails and then I'll probably just fill them and paint over them. So I'll probably put a third somewhere in the middle, close to the middle, at the top, and two at the bottom. I mean, you don't want this to fall off now, do you? Ta-da! Now, one second. 
Um, I have a tricky thing that I'm sure I'll say, but the edges of the original dresser are curved, like just for a nicer finish. Like you can see it's curved like that. So there's like a tiny gap between the flat wood and the curve piece here. So unfortunately for me, um, I'm gonna have to use more wood fill and fill, it's not just a crack, it's like a little dip. So I'm just gonna have to fill all that. Then I'll sand it down tomorrow and paint the edges. That's why I like wasn't worried about painting every part of the edges because I'm all have to fill it anyway and repaint it, baby. So this is like an annoying step that most people wouldn't have to do. Oh. But since this is curved, I think I showed you before, I'm just filling the gap and sanding the edges down and then I'm just gonna repaint the edges. Cool. Yeah, that's the pros doing it. I then used the old top as a template for how big to cut the new wooden top and for where to drill the holes so that it can fit onto the old dowels. I have glued onto each top of the dowels and I'm just gonna try and put the top on. like a mallet. Whoa. No gaps. Whoa, that looks way darker than it is. I don't know, anyway. Oh, I guess it is kind of that dark. I want it to be like warmer to match the um, burlap and because I think it looks good with the black like you can see that color with the black looks nice um, so yeah I mean staining is pretty basic I think but all that I'm doing is I'm taking a foam brush and I'm wiping it on and then I'm taking the old paper towel and I'm wiping it off they say just make sure that you like it because it's not like paint, you can't sand stain off if you didn't know. It actually sinks into the wood. Oh, I just farted. It actually sinks into the wood. So it's non-removable once it's done. I like this stain color. I used it for the countertops in the van. It's called Puritan Pine, if anyone was curious. Shalom. I got my eyebrows done, that's why. Um, my forehead is yellow and they look red. Anyway, finishing up the dresser right now. I'm just gonna put the knobs on and it's very basic, uh, basic deal here. All you do is, believe it or not, I got these handles, okay, from Amazon. I'll link them below. It's a 10 pack. And all it is is a black handle. So pretty self-explanatory, but what you do is you screw, you find the middle, and then you screw two holes, whatever this distance is from the middle, and you plop her on there. And that's what I'm gonna do. And it feels like I'm walking on the water. Feels like there's only Voila! Okay, I'm gonna do that five more times. And just like that, bada bing, bada boom, you've got your dresser. Thanks for checking this video out. I've got lots more DIYs coming along, so if you'd like to see more of this, then don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye!